Welcome to another Craig and Dave Unscripted for computer science students. This is your October update. If you're a computer science teacher and you've landed here, please head over to our website, craigandave.org. You will find tools, resources, training, and lots more, including our awesome ever-growing community of computer science teachers in our Facebook group called Mission Control. Right, so back to the show. Woo, we've just had Halloween, 31st of October. And have we got a trick or a treat for you, students? What do you reckon, Dave? Hi. <laughs> I think we've got a trick. <laughs> yes, we've got a trick. Now that might sound very negative, but no, it's a good trick. It's a trick that will allow you to do better. Ah, see what we did there? Turned a negative into a positive. We are going to spend uh, this episode talking about the latest major feature, which is now live in Smart Revise, and it is called Goals. So I'm just going to uh, show you how to get to where it is, and I'm going to hand over to Dave to explain a bit about it. So we just fire up Smart Revise here. I'll just make that full screen. So uh, you'll be used to seeing uh, when you log on to Smart Revise, your course is there, and there's the uh, GCSE for OCR. So if we click on that, please, Dave. And then okay. you'll be used to seeing your dashboard. Okay, so it's loaded up. A lot of this will look familiar to you, but you'll notice on the right-hand side, just under tasks, we've got this week's goals. So just before we go into what it is, the the feature we introduced previously to this was flight paths, which obviously is in the top left. And very briefly, if you're unaware what flight paths are, you've got your three modes there, quiz, terms, and uh, advanced in the three colours. You've got dates on the bottom, and then you've got this green, what we call target cone. And what we've been telling you is, you use those three modes throughout your course, and your aim is to keep those three lines inside the target cone, which increasingly becomes more difficult as you get close to the exam, because it goes up and up and up. And as long as you keep your three lines in the target zone, you're on track to be successful in your exams. That's great, Craig and Dave. But what do I actually need to do to get my lines into the target zone? And when they're in the target zone, to keep them going up in the target zone as the target zone rises? Well, that is where goals comes in and takes the heavy lifting out. So I will hand over to Dave to give a brief explanation of what goals is, how often you will get them, and, uh, and how they relate to helping you keep in that target zone. Dave. Yeah, so goals are effectively weekly targets that are set by the system Smart Revise. They are not set by your teacher. So if you're unhappy with the goals that you're being given, then uh, there's no point complaining to your teacher because they can't do anything um, about it. They are created by the system. And what the system's doing is it's looking at your data it's looking at the date that you started the course or when you started using Smart Revise um, in your class. It's looking at when your exam dates are. And it's calculating from all of that what a sensible diet of questions would be for you in each of quiz, terms and advance. One of the things that we've noticed when we look at all the data from up and down the country is that students are very keen to be using quiz because it's very easy, it's low stakes. But they're not keen on using terms, and they're certainly not keen on using advanced because it looks a little bit scary. So what we want to do is try and level it up so that students see advanced, not quite so scary, but also just as important as quiz. Because if you're going to do well in your exams, then you need to have a balance. You need to be able to answer the multiple choice questions. You also need to be very familiar with the subject terminology, which is what terms does. You also need to be able to answer those longer exam questions, which is what advanced looks at. And one of the things that we've done to make advanced less intimidating is introduce a bit of a ramp up. So you don't go to advance and immediately get an eight mark question anymore. It used to be a kind of a bit random, really, what question you would get. So we've introduced a little bit of a ramp into advance. So it's going to start with some of the easier questions. It doesn't mean it's going to give all the easy questions and then all the medium questions and all the hard questions. It will mix things up a little bit, but you will get a, a ramp 
uh, to make it a little bit more gentle. So you shouldn't be uh, put off by using advanced because the chances are when you use it for the first time, you're going to get a one mark question and then possibly a two mark question. So it's going to ease you in gently. The other thing that will happen is that the goals themselves are going to ramp up as you progress through the course and as you progress on your flight path. So you'll notice that the goals that we're being set here answer 100 quiz questions, answer 12 advanced questions, and using terms in smart mode, clear your deck or assess 50 cards four times looks like quite a lot of work. But this is a student that is towards the end of their course, and we can see from their flight path they're not doing particularly well. They're doing okay in terms because they're in the green target cone, but they're below that for quiz and they're far below that for advance. And so what the system is doing is essentially giving the student a wake-up call and saying, look, you've got to do a fair bit of work here if you're going to be successful. So don't worry about that because when you first start a course, your goals are going to be very achievable. It's not yeah. going to be I, sorry, so just jump in. I was literally testing this yesterday with our lead developer. If you're at the very beginning of the course, you know, you've only been taught a topic, a typical set of goals you initially get would be sort of answer 10 quiz questions and do two advanced questions. So it will ramp up. And as Dave and I have said a lot before, the best way to use smart device is little and often from the start of your course. That means from the start of year 10 or the start of year 12, not once you're into the second year or or heaven forbid towards the end. Oh, it's revision time. I got to cram. Smart device is going to be very unreasonable then. You've got two years of content and you'll be stressed and we want to help remove the stress. This is not the only subject you're studying. So little and often, and those goals will seem very manageable, keep you in the target cone and they'll ramp up slowly. So, so this is, yes, as Dave said, this is simulating a, a student towards the end of the course with not a lot of time left and they're below the target cone. So the goals are understandably quite demanding. How long, though, Dave, do the students have to do or achieve these goals? I mean, how often are they reset? We've said goals, but um, how does that work? Yeah, so they're weekly goals, and so they are set at midnight on Saturday. So on Sunday morning, you would have a new set of goals for the week, and you essentially have the seven days to complete them. Now, for mm -hmm. modes like quiz and advance, you could leave it all the way to Saturday morning and then just do all the work that's required on quiz and advance on the Saturday morning. I and mean, we don't advise that, but you could. I mean, as long as you're doing a little bit of work every week, then that's good enough. But you won't achieve your goal in terms if you do that, because terms works a little bit differently. What terms does is it requires you to look at your deck of cards for a number of days in each week. And so if you don't have enough days left to achieve that goal, you won't be able to achieve that goal. So if we have another look at the student again, it says using terms in smart mode, clear your deck or assess 50 cards four times. So the four times means essentially on four different days of the week. So you don't have to do this for seven days of the week. It will never set you a goal to do that. But as you progress in the course, it may well ask you to do six days in a week. And you might think, wow, that's an awful lot of work. That's very demanding for me to be able to log into Smart Advice and do terms and flip 50, 50 cards for six days in a week. But it's not as bad as that because the other thing that Smart Revise is doing is it's looking at your cards and thinking about which ones you should be looking at for that day of the week. And so for some of the days of the week, you're just looking at red cards, for example. And if you've been using Smart Revise regularly, the number of red cards is going to go down as you use the system. So it may well be that you open it up on a Monday evening and you only have a half a dozen cards that you actually need to flip and self-assess. So in order to get that one day, you may only be looking at six cards. But the maximum cards that it's going to ask you to look at in any one day, regardless of how many are in each deck, will be 50. It will never ask you to flip more than 50 cards in a day, so you know what the maximum workload is. It's also worth saying while we're talking about workload caps that we've also got a workload cap in quiz and advance as well. So it will never ask you to answer more than 100 quiz questions in a week. It will never ask you to answer more than 12 advanced questions in a week. 
So you've got to be wary here that these goals are to encourage you to be on track, but they are not necessarily goals in order to complete all the content in SmartAdvice. It may well not be possible just by using goals to complete all the course content because you might not have enough days left for your course to enable that to happen because of the workload caps. The goals are just that, they're goals. You can do more work than the goals are asking you to do if you want to. It just won't count towards this week's or indeed next week's goals. You can't carry your progress forward to the next week. So for example, if your goal is to answer 50 quiz questions and you answer 75, you will achieve this week's goals, but it won't carry forward 25 to next week. You will, uh, you'll start from a, from a clean slate. So this does not cap you but it does give you something manageable. Perfect. Well, that's basically goals. Just two other very quick things to add, and then we'll uh, finish up there. Secondly, uh, sorry, the first one, sorry, secondly. Uh, the first one, um, teachers may well be setting you tasks. You may be used to that already. And if they are setting you tasks, and in those tasks you're doing quiz questions and terms, then as you complete those tasks and the teachers mark them, um, and release those marks, it will advance your goals. So your goals will, you'll see your goals advancing, uh, even if your teacher's setting you tasks and you're doing the work there. So any work you do in the system will contribute. And secondly, you may notice there on the top right hand corner of that goals panel, there's an all goals button that just allows you to get to a, a history. Uh, we're working on the wording there, but that, that may or may not change that button, but it will be there. And you'll see then then a history of your goals. You'll be able to go back and see previous weeks, but the current week is always right there on the dashboard. Right. Brilliant. Well, I think that's it. So that's it for another month. Uh, please don't forget to subscribe. And if you've got any comments or questions, then pop them down below this video and we will try to answer as many as we can. Don't forget, if you are a computer science teacher, then pop over to our website. We have everything we need to make your life a breeze. And we're also going to be doing a video just for you that goes into a bit more detail about the algorithms that are working behind the scenes to make those goals personalised. We'll see you over there and we'll see you all again next month. Bye bye.